This is 7 Eyewitness News at 11. Our neighbors know each other. Uh, this incident was very out of place in Parkside. A double shooting and crash happening within walking distance of the Buffalo Zoo, leaving a tight knit neighborhood on edge this evening. You watch this unfold as breaking news right here on 7 Eyewitness News. Two people shot at the corner of Parkside and Crescent. Yeah, Jeff, police say it was sparked by an altercation between two cars. Now the hunt is on for those responsible. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson live live on the scene where she's been following the story since the beginning. Sierra? This happened at a time when folks were coming home from work and school all the while. Police were dealing with a multi-car crash and shooting here at the corner of Parkside and Crescent. Now, investigators believe this all began as a road rage incident in another part of the city and ended with shots being fired and cars crashing in the vicinity of Woodward and Crescent. This all played out around 4.30 this afternoon. Police tell us a 25-year-old man was shot in the leg. He is still at ECMC tonight, but he is expected to survive. A 44-year-old woman has since been treated and released from the hospital. Now, as investigators continue to piece together this wild scene, residents in this close-knit community are anxiously waiting for answers. Um, we have a very brief description that's been put out to all the police cars in the area, but we're not at this time prepared to release any of that information. But it's tremendously important that we work with law enforcement to make sure that this issue is addressed and that those responsible are held accountable for their actions. So if you've seen anything in the neighborhood, please call the police. Please let law enforcement know if you have any tips that you think could help this investigation. At this point, police aren't saying much about the suspected shooter in this case, and no arrest has been made. Police are asking anyone with information who may have witnessed this situation to contact them on their confidential tip call line. We have that number attached to our story on our website, WKBW.com. Reporting live from North Buffalo, Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.